Okay, uh, this is for uh, AMD um, users of the proprietary drivers and installing Steam in Ubuntu 14.04 um, 64-bit. Uh, I had a lot of problems installing this until I uh, ran across a form in the Ubuntu forums. And uh, basically this is what you have to do. And wow, this is weird, as highlighted here, which it is. Um, the process, and this does work, well, it worked for me anyway. Hopefully it'll work for you. On it, you have to, if you have AMD driver, proprietary drivers installed, you have to uninstall them. Then reboot, and then, uh, uninstall and reinstall Steam, uh, from Steam powered, but the store seemed to work as well. Uh, start Steam, let it update and log in, close Steam, then reinstall the AMD proprietary drivers, reboot again, Start the <laughs> profit and it works. So, um, I'm going to upload these notes. And uh, this is uh, pretty much the uninstall routine that's been working for a few years now in Ubuntu. Uh, Catalyst removal. Now, if you downloaded them, um, the ATI proprietary drivers from AMD itself, this should be in here, this uh, uninstall, if it's there. If not, just ignore this line, okay? If you install them through um, software and updates, additional drivers, which I did, um, you can ignore the first line and continue on. So, go back to here. So, you just uh, copy and paste uh, the first line in and press enter and just copy and paste each line and keep pressing enter. If you receive an error, uh, you change this line to this and then restart and uh, for me the uh, screen resolution was way off but it didn't matter uh, because uh, I was able to install Steam and as you can see here I'm using the proprietary drivers provided by Ubuntu okay uh, a couple of screenshots as you can see the uh, dark borders that's because uh, I was running in a lower resolution. Um, I had this actually running three times in the background, Steam trying to update. <laughs> so I had to keep pressing cancel, 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 close this, until finally I just have had one dialogue running. So if you see that happening, um, just close it and make sure you just have one updating Steam running. And this too here, um, repo, Steam powered, precise we're using the trusty right um this for you if like for me i don't know why but uh this seemed to take a while it took like seven minutes to finally uh update the 64 uh was fine so after uh you update and steam is running uh you reinstall the proprietary drivers either from downloading from amd or through if you have luck through the uh system settings all right. As you can see here, uh, Steam is up and running. Um, but there is one thing I wanted to point out. A little thing you can do is um, this can minimize. And when you close, usually it just stays in the dash. If you don't want that, you can fix. So when you close, it doesn't remain in the dash anymore. And it's up here in the top where you exit. So what you do for this is um, just open a terminal control T. Uh, change directory to your desktop, ls, and you should see, well, there's a backup there, but you should see steam.desktop. We'll copy that. And uh, sudo gedit, and then uh, paste that in. Press enter, password. And the first executable line is this here that you change, sh-c. And this, this here, this line, I'll put this in the uh, notes or in uh, a paste bin. Okay, so exact equals this, and that's how you get Steam to close uh, without remaining in the uh, dash or on another Linux um, distribution to not remain in the uh, taskbar or the uh, Windows view area. And you can do the same thing uh, for the dash button here, if you have. Uh, first of all, I'll change directory. You should run this command in Ubuntu. It's uh, it's installed by default. So it's sudo update db. 
and so it updates what's there and then do a locate steam dot desk top okay now there's two backup files here and there's one so the other one is here user share application steam dot desk desktop so we'll copy that line copy and we'll paste that in and before that press home on your keyboard and uh, again sudo g edit space and press enter and the exact line is the same here exactly the same as the one that's on your desktop so you can have it launching from your dash with the same behavior if you want that if you don't want that and that's uh, perfectly fine but if you like the idea of it closing and just remaining in the uh, tray up here um, you can do that okay so long-winded uh, hopefully this these problems get sorted out in the uh, in the future thanks to this user on the uh, this was back before the actual release but so it hasn't been fixed in the final that I know of uh, maybe eventually it will I know the, the drivers have been released officially by um, ATI and provided through uh, Ubuntu all right and this is for the HD 5 series I believe and up hopefully this will work okay so that's all I can say um, and if you have any luck let me know and thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon and bye for now